Oh, hey guys, Peter wasn't kidding. Instagram's really crushing it. What's up? It I'm getting kind of carried away here. How's it going fellow photophiles? My name is Ilya and welcome to the weekly Wednesday vlog. Just a little while ago, Peter McKinnon put out this video and I thought it was really cool. By the way, if you liked my version of that hologram, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos on the topic. So we talked a lot about this technique with the crop squad, which is by the way, three Instagrammers, photographers, two of my friends and me. And we thought it was really cool. Also, we're doing the PM grid challenge. And so after some analysis, I decided to make a tutorial so other people can also try experimenting with effects like that. So this tutorial is gonna be really simple, just the basics you need for making an effect like that, but hopefully knowing all these techniques, you will be able to make something as complex and cool looking as you want. So of course, the first thing you wanna do is film the sequence where you're flipping through the imaginary Instagram hologram. The next thing I'm gonna do is go to my Instagram, grab a screenshot of maybe a three by three grid a couple times, and then merge them all together into one picture in Photoshop. Of course, it doesn't have to be an Instagram grid. You can put anything you want, but you're pretty much making the HUD display of your hologram. Dump it into After Effects and make a new composition that's gonna be the size of the display. So in the current state, I have nine and nine and nine pictures, but I'm only gonna make the display about three by three. Desaturate the layer and add some blue in the highlights or whatever color you think your hologram is gonna be. So then you animate the scroll by changing the position. So for example, here it's gonna scroll from the first one to the second one, and then you have to animate the speed of the animation with these waves, and it's usually, it goes really fast when you scroll it, but then it slows down and kind of eases out at the end because that's how most animations on our phones look. But of course, you're gonna have to time it later to the exact movements of your hand so it looks realistic. And then of course, you can add some other HUD elements as you see fit. Okay, so then we dump this on top of the shot of you, send the blending mode to screen, take away a bit of the opacity and add some glow to the edges. Next is the most important part, which is the corner pin because this is gonna add depth to the entire screen to make it look like it's actually hovering in front of you. And you're gonna have to play around with it for a while to make it look right and make sure it blends in correctly. Okay, so then just track the movements of your phone and track the hologram to that null. I'd probably use just the position and rotation values because nothing else is needed. We're not even going into 3D here because there's no need for such complicated techniques. And then of course you can add some sound effects just to make it more interesting and sell the effect better. Of course the success of this effect really depends on how well you acted your shot of flipping through the air as well as the lighting and the composition and of course every element of editing. But overall I hope this gave you a small insight on how to make an effect like this. Thanks so much for sticking around guys. I love your company and you know what to do to show some love. And as always I really hope to see you guys next week. I can go back to scrolling around Instagram. Hello? Instagram's down again, damn it. <laughs>